So sometime at the beginning of the month of November, I started to realize that my video editing had gotten really sloppy. I uploaded a video that I've been working on for a while and it was just not very good. And this comes from me being a professional video editor for quite some time, professional video producer, and having moved a lot of my business to doing websites and social media, uh, email marketing, I had kind of lost touch with using the video editing skills on a daily basis like I used to. So in the spirit of kind of the challenges that are going around the internet, I thought I'd challenge myself to do 30 days of editing a video every single day and see how my skills improved. I follow a lot of self-improvement YouTube and Instagram personalities online and it seems like there's this this constant piece of advice that is you need to focus on one specific thing and get really really good at that one thing to be successful in any way and i have a real problem with that because i am inherently a jack of all trades i'm interested in a ton of things and it's kind of what i am good at is being able to bridge the gap between a bunch of different fields and pieces of knowledge i keep getting this idea that okay if i just focus on this one thing I can get really good at it and that can be my thing. And that's kind of what I got into this challenge thinking. I thought if I edit every single day, then I'll get good enough by the end of this month that I'll see the progress and wanna continue doing this indefinitely. That's not what happened. <laughs> So it started out good. The first couple of weeks of the month, I had gotten some new video clients, which kind of helped me spur on this idea. And I was making more money than I had in previous months, which was good because I had um, been having a little bit of financial trouble after losing some big clients that I had during the summer and I hadn't really picked up any new ones. So December was looking good and it was looking good that these clients that were primarily video clients, if I just focused on doing a really good job for them, that they would continue to come back and they would refer new clients to me. And that is what happened and for the first couple of days I was super motivated and probably the first week or so I was super motivated I kind of wrote it on my calendar I wrote a little check off thing so I could check it off every single time but generally the idea was to try to get if I could something finished or at least put out a new draft of something so for clients a lot of times I'll publish a video send it to them and they'll send me revisions that they want done and so I counted each of those revisions as a new video because really a lot of times it is pretty much re-editing the entire video when it came to my own videos for YouTube or something like that I counted those as well through the first week things were looking good the second week things started getting a little rough I got sick I missed one day and then I got back on it but I was pulling teeth in my brain to get things done and it really started to become an issue when I'd sit down at the computer and just stare at the screen not able to figure out what the next step was for the edit that I was doing. Things, you know, I always get unclear directions from clients, which is always frustrating, or just not really know where I was going with an edit and just, I was fogging over. And it was pretty quick. I mean, the end of November into the beginning of December, I just was working really hard, working pretty much every single day and pushing myself, which is something I hadn't been doing for quite a while. So it was a pretty radical shift in the amount of energy I was expending and I was already starting to get exhausted by the second week. But my video editing had rapidly increased in quality. The I'll, I'll show a video here that was the first video I edited of the month, which was just terrible. It was so bad. It's up on my YouTube channel. It does, you know, the job, it gets the job done, but it, the, the footage is blurry and I didn't like go back and re film it. I didn't fix some of the audio problems. Like it's just sloppy. But then once the holiday season came around, it got really, really difficult because um, I was doing a lot of things with my girlfriend's family. Obviously I didn't work on Christmas. There were some days around there where I did work um, and I still got as close as I could to editing a video every day. And I tried to make up for it by the days after Christmas, editing multiple videos. But by that time I was fried. The last couple days of December, I really pushed through and my brain was just completely mush at that point. I did churn out a few videos that were some of the better videos that I've made in a while, but there's no way I could reasonably keep up with that quality at that quantity because it took so long to edit those and so much effort and it was just things that really burnt me out honestly so now you know i'm part way through january when i'm uploading this looking back what i learned from the challenge was yeah it did increase my income my income almost doubled that month but then this month it was basically all a recovery month because i had burnt myself out so much and the thing is <laughs> i am really bad at doing any one thing for a long time. I'm 
learning through things like this to just accept that I am not the type of person that's gonna have one thing and I'm gonna focus on that the rest of my life. I am a jack of all trades type person. And I think that's okay. I think trying to get down on myself for not focusing on one thing, not becoming a master of one thing, being pretty good at a lot of things, there's value in that too. So I think that that's kind of the takeaway from this lesson from this challenge is A, that I, way, way burnt myself out by it. And I am gonna do some other challenges this year because they're fun. It's fun to do it and it's fun to make a video about it. Really, it's just fun to push myself to do something new. I think a lot of stuff that's more health and wellness centered would be a lot um, more beneficial because this one I was burning myself out by doing the challenge where if I'm doing something like uh, currently this month I was doing meditating every day and that helped. That does the opposite of burn me out. The video editing challenge was not a success. <laughs> I mean, I literally didn't edit a video every single day. I just wanted to add that I did successfully edit 31 videos if you count revisions. If you divide the 31 by the days of the month, I did do one a day for the whole month but totally burnt myself out. I need those days off. I think most people do. I think it's kind of absurd to push ourselves sometimes that hard. There's definitely periods of time where that's necessary, but for me, I think I just made things worse because I ended up spending almost all of January making no money, editing no videos because I was just completely burnt out and avoiding it at all costs. And I ended up hating <laughs> editing videos. I, I'm a little, I'm back to it now at the end of the month and doing videos again. But man, I just did not want to make another video. I was so over it. Um, so clearly that's not my one passion. So here's to uh, trying some new things this year in 2020. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried to push yourself that hard and burnt yourself out or what your results were. Did you get big results? Um, and were those big results worth it? Like I said, I made more money than I had in previous months, but I don't think it was worth it because it affected my ability to make money this month. So thanks for watching. Hope this was something and um, see you around.